Hello everyone, welcome back to Air Memories of Old Part 6. Here, uh, with me, Samari Noah, right here. Okay, so last we did, uh, the second dungeon, right there. And now we are continuing on to, uh, somewhere else. <laughs> uh, we kind of got all these islands we can go to around. We'll probably explore before we work our way towards the third sh finding the third shrine. Uh, before we find the third shrine, we should probably return to town as well. We have these two first. No, maybe not. That's the way back. Or that's the way to the next area, I should say. They found us! Quick mirror! Run! Neat. I don't know if we'd see any of those things as souls. Home of thousands, we built this shrine to stand beacon and as home to the birds of these lands, much as birds did for us in ancient days. They have been our friends since forever. They scouted the lands and settled in places of soil which could sustain us. We, when we still were the tribes of the wilds, we traveled with the birds as they moved. They trusted, we trusted them to mark our movement of change. They taught us to be nomads and shaped us to what we became. Big old birdhouse. Oh, achievement unlocked. Condor condo. Nice. Back this way, I would guess. Yeah, let's go. Uh, I think this is where we gotta go, right here, as opposed to over here, but it might be there. So I'm gonna say, let's see if we can't find anything out here. These are some dang low rocks. This must be the void. Ooh, the music ended. Not a good sign. Discovered the Creator's Shrine. Well, we really should return to town first.
she has this way. good care of the land of the gods for many years now, me and John, and my parents before us, but I haven't reflected on the rituals of the pilgrimage very much. Why is it that only bird shifters go through the pilgrimage? There are other shifters who are chosen by other spirit animals. There are, of course, the stories that tell of Kara. She was a bird shifter too, but it feels as if it's more than that. As with Kara's light, I feel that you were given it to shed light on something important. But you still have a part of the pilgrimage left, don't you? Let's see. There's only one temple left now, and it's located beyond the storm of the Howling Peaks, all the way up at the roof of the world in the north. It's an old monastery where people lived, served, and learned in solitude. The sigil is located close to a small bell tower rather than the temple itself. Take care when flying through the storm. Sometimes it's difficult to find the way, and it's raging stronger now than just a few years ago. Hey, John. Yo! Have you seen Aaron? I turned my back for a second, and now I can't find her anywhere. Oh, this is all my fault. I know that she's as adventurous as her old man, but it's not the same. It's just different when it's your kid, you know? Can you please help me find her? I'll search around the camp and see if the sky boat is still here. God forbid she took the sky boat. Can you search the air skirts of the island to see if you can find her? Yeah, sure. Sky boat, huh? I mean, I can check the sky boat right now. Definitely not seeing no kid lit up here. Kiddo. Hey, can I talk to you? There you go. The achievement unlocked. Hide and seek. Hi, Ock. Have you seen this? I found this rock on my expedition all by myself. Yeah, it's super spectacular, and no one else would have seen that. I am convinced it is some kind of great evil monster mastermind's mineral minion, and I have kept it under close watch. It hasn't done anything yet. 
except standing there. But I heard Medvin say that Black Rocks destroyed Kara's shrine. I bet that it has something to do with that split mountain up in the northeast as well. Did you know that a spirit fox lives there? We went up there once, me and Dad. I had to wait outside, but I found a large ruin, so I had an expedition there too. See, I am an awesome adventurer, and now you should take me with you. Maybe I should ask Mom and Dad first. If they say yes, then it's a promise. Promise? Uh, yeah. <gasps> you kind of did promise, you know. So it's a deal now. I better get back to Mom and Dad soon. Yes, you should. Think of all the horrible things that could happen to you if you get eaten by that stationary Sassile Rock. Here's the monastery, fly north, beyond the storm of the Howling Peaks to the roof of the world. Howling Peaks, that's from another game of that, uh... Is that the album? Hey! You found Aaron? Thank the gods. Well, I guess it's safe as long as she stays on the island. And she won't be away for long. Phew. Thank you, Locke. You really saved me. I really started to panic there. Where are you off to now? Why don't you search out the three caves and the Howling Peaks to see if you find something interesting? Come back and tell me about it afterwards. Okay, but uh, we'll go on over here first. We gotta talk to Medivh. I have some information, but it raises even more questions, I'm afraid. Before the caretakers, there was another entity. The creator, whose shrine I bet you found already? Yes, yeah, I have. <laughs> Just now. Since the world itself is in his temple, he has no temple of his own. But there is a shrine, larger than any temple. Strange, isn't it? I found an old text from the time of the Great Divide. The lighthouse shone a brilliant beam, and a monolith, tall as ten of the tallest towers of Urza, appeared in front of my eyes. In one instant, the peaceful refuge of the land of gods became instead sky, chaos, and piercing light. In the middle, the monolith. I knew then that it was the creator's shrine I gazed upon, for nothing else it could be. From it, cracks spread, and the sound of a thousand thunders stretched my mind. For us, the Great Divide is a tale of Kara and the beginning of the people of the sky. Isn't that the, one of the names for those Skyloftians, too? Anyway, and nothing more. Now I think otherwise. Kara visited the caretakers, as you have done. It said that she was given a great power when praying at the lighthouse. I believe this creature you see in your dreams is looking for this power. And for some reason, it seems to be following you. Are you scratching your butt? I beg you, be visit the last caretaker and see if you can find out even more. I will continue my search here. Very well. See ya. Hope he doesn't get killed by a rock at the very end. That would suck. fast. Woo!
That's a weird light. Not all spirits persist forever. Praise to the cinnamon fingered, the dance of the southern trees. Nevermore will she play beneath her shade. She fell into the darkness, never to laugh again with us. From star to star she skips, following the gods into eternity. Praise to the dance, ended and begun. Also sing of the voice of the grasslands, the sun roar, and the wind caller. Never again will he race through the reeds of the lakes, stirring up the swans, or hunt the horses of the wild. He now prowls the dark between dream and wake, sing of his voice unforgotten till the stars fade into morning light. yourselves. The statue is falling. It's time to face facts. The God King is here to stay. It's better to bend a knee than to lose a head. I am Yohal of the Southern Isles. This is the second letter I leave behind. This message is a warning of bad tidings, the worst ever since the Great Divide. I came to the land of the gods to seek counsel from my spirit animal. Our lands continue to break apart as if an invisible tide nodded them. Since last spring, things have gotten worse. 
The snow creeps south, and animals are found dead, corrupted with the dark rocks I first saw so long ago. I went to the spirit fox's den, but it was empty. I waited there for three days, but he was nowhere to be seen. Are the spirits dying as we are? If so, then all is lost. If he doesn't show up tomorrow, I will return to my people. I, for one, will not abandon them in their last days. This must be the person over here. Well, maybe not. Well, fine. Box. Yeah. Oh, hey, there we go. Praise the spirits of the lands. The soul is shining through the veil as pale stars and animals walk in the earth in daylight. Remember the gods that once guarded the lands. May they find a new home amidst the stars. Sing of the great dreamer that sleeps in eternity. May she dream of good times forever and ever. Let a spirit kindly touch this stone. May it guide your people with the wisdom of the priestess. And and now. Hey, Baneary. See ya. Fine. I'm gonna have to. Skeleton. Oh, achievement unlocked in the belly of the beast. Oh, hey. What a weird place for, uh, you know, one of these. Oh, that's weird. Once, when the gods were still awake, some animals gathered to talk. A hare said, The grass is not as green as it was. The bear said, The honey does not flow as it used to. Well, honey doesn't flow that well anyway. It's kind of sticky. A wolf said, there are less deer to hunt, and the deer said, well, I do my best. <laughs> An eagle said, the lands have become smaller. A crane said, the humans write less and argue more. An owl said, there is a darkness deeper than the night, and it grows. At this, the other animals fell silent, and the wind howled around them. <laughs> the big old skelly is this. If you ever go further north, listen to these for these bells. They will help you find your way through. Here we go. Discovered Howling Peaks. Okay.
water. Oh, that's gonna be chilly. Even if the temperature has dropped, the springs are still as warm as ever. Oh, nice. Look at you. We are supposed to explore the three caves. There's supposed to be a fox out here as well. I mean, is that the, haven't we been seeing the spirit fox? It's appeared twice before, as I recall. Possibly even thrice. Discovered Beartooth Cave. Just thinking it was dark. <laughs> I completely forgot about the lantern I keep using. Oh, nice little lily rocks. Notes of Legends in the Western Clans by Rhett, the scholar of the Summer Islands. Everything in the land of gods is sacred. Especially there is a shrine called the Lighthouse, which is rumored to be a place of power. Some ancient texts refer to it as the House of the First Light, the cradle of the world, where the ancient gods first woke up and walked the lands. Now it just looms as a small black tower made, of, made from alien obsidian, lonely and abandoned, a relic in the eyes of our civilization. Is it a mistake that we don't care for what was left by, to us by our ancestors? Yeah, probably. It's an honor to receive you here. You may not know me, but I know who you are. Come, listen to my story. Ah, I still remember the time when Kara was still a cub. It was her first visit to the land of gods. Her clan was traveling through. I myself was still young, just over a hundred years. And as chance would have it, they stopped for a rest near my home at the time. I was walking by, and she went up to me. She was still without words, but she hugged me, and her heart talked to me. Years later, she came back. She remembered me. One of her first memories, she said. I offered her a pact, but she had already entered one with the bird of the Thunder Isles. We became good friends, however, and I was the first to meet her after the Great Divide. The Creator had split himself to lock away a void growing in his heart. The world crumbled. He had given Kara the task of keeping the pieces of his being safe. Three fragments of great power, the void locked in its prison. And one last piece, his hopes, his dreams, and his love for the world and its beauty. Kara came to me much later again, when the world was called once more to present the last piece to me. The cub was as small as Kara was, when we met for the first time, and her name was Mina. Okay, Betty. Notes on legends of the Western Clowns by... Oh, wait, is this where I just came from? Well, shucks. Really 
this is the way back. Well, in that case, let me run all the way back up there before we end this episode here. to him than this, I would think. There's only one light. Alright, well that's going to be our episode for today. Uh, tune in next time, we're going to see if we can't find a piece with this bear here, and try to enter the final shrine of the Howling Winds, the Howling Peaks. Uh, Mount Ararat. Or is it Ariad? Well, whatever. I'll see you guys next time here on Some Rhino Plays. Goodbye.